Hi there, I'm going to show you how to quickly and efficiently replace a blown out sky or a, a boring drab sky with a sky from the Montana Skies Collection. First you're going to open your image in Photoshop, okay, like I have here, and then you're going to use the place option to pull in the sky of your choice. So go to file in the top menu, down to place embedded or place linked, doesn't matter. And then navigate to wherever you saved the skies folder. All right. Now you can go through and just click. You're not going to install these. Okay. These don't worry about installing the overlays. They're just going to be images that you pick through and you put in one at a time. So let's say this one is lovely. Or um, it's hard to pick. Maybe one like that. So you just hit place and then you if you need to enlarge it or move it around you can do that and then hit the check mark now I already have one in here that I want so I'm just going to pull this one out and delete it because I've already have this one let me use that one right there now if there's a portion of the sky that you would rather see um, or if you need to flip it you can do that as well you're going to activate your oops your move tool by hitting V on your keyboard and so we could move it around. We could even flip it by dragging over and over and over and over and over and over until we flipped it and then grab this other side. So you can flip it this way if you want to do that. There's another way to flip it as well, but that's very simple for, for new users. So we can move that around. And um, you can just move it up. If we want more of this bottom part like that, we can move this up here. All right, and then I'm going to hit the check mark. So that's what I have. Now I'm going to hide it because we're going to create a mask. This is not a big, long tutorial on making selections. So if you're still very new to making selections, go look up some tutorials on how to do that and, um, and then come back and, and revisit this. But you can keep it very simple, which I'm going to do here. I'm going to use the selection brush, or quick select brush, sorry, and Make sure it's on the plus, I'm gonna, and I'm just going to click and drag to the place uh, I want the sky to be, okay? Now I'm going to do select and refine edge, and you can see the edge now, see that? If I want the radius to be a little bit bigger, it, watch if I do a lot, if I do less, okay? So you can kind of see what happens with that. And I'll move it up a little bit like that to about 3.6. You can smooth your edge, feather it. I'll big, do a big feather so you can see. See how it's blending it in? And that's too much, but I do uh, like a little feather. Contrast, you can see what happens there. It makes it very defined. I don't want that. If I need to shift the edge up or down, so I shifted it up. I'm shifting it down, so I'm going to... Do about like that. All right. Now, down here, Output Selection. I'm going to click on Selection and do a um, just a layer mask. Okay, and hit OK. Now, what it did was it put it on our background. And, and I don't want it on the background. And that's okay. So I'm going to hit to activate this sky layer. And I'm going to take my mask. I'm going to click on the mask and just drag it up. To the next one okay so I took it from this layer down here and moved it up now I can reduce the opacity so maybe we see oops wrong layer reduce the opacity so it blends in a little bit more but now we have this um, white area do you see it um, see like a halo almost so what I'm going to do is click on the mask and use my graduate uh, gradient tool sorry and make sure it's a black and white all right, and I have it reduced down to a lower opacity. I'm just going to click and drag, okay? So it kind of blends the sky in. We can even increase the opacity if we want. and Maybe blend it in a little bit more. Okay. There we go. So it kind of blends and fades, fades it in a little bit. And that's this is very helpful if you're uh, not great yet at making defined selections. So our sky went from that before to that 
after. To finish up, to have your new image, you're going to flatten your layer. So you can go up to layer and then down to flatten. Okay, so now we have one whole image. And go file and save as and save it as a new file. Okay, with a new file name.